Hello my loves, it's a kind of sort of kitchen vlog um, just because you know a couple of things uh, have been on my mind of late I don't know if any of you that watch the channel also keep your eye on our um, Facebook page those vegan guys, we post quite a lot on that page and uh, I've noticed a bit of a trend of late whereby uh, we'll post something and it might be something um, slightly political maybe and then suddenly other it's largely men this is why I'm saying it come along and criticise what we've posted it's uh, there's a there's a quote actually in um, a stoic philosophy and I'm paraphrasing here uh, the, in fact this is one of the things I posted uh, on the page the other day as a response to people coming along afterwards and criticising uh, you know I didn't mean to press that uh, how did I word it paraphrasing a stoic quote here there are two kinds of men those who get shit done stand up for shit stand against shit actively give a shit then there are those who come along afterwards and criticize we truly wish the latter would kin do one and that was true at the at the time not sure if i'm keen on this color of light but let's stick with it because the white was just making me look so pale like a vampire um, so another controversial thing that uh, I have posted recently I'll keep that open so I can read it out but as I'm reading it out I'll put it up as an image it might even end up being the thumbnail um, as most of you know that know the channel and know us uh, Jason and I went to uh, the Lake District for a couple of um, days last week gorgeous time much needed and on the way back um, on the motorway uh, we passed a cattle truck and I looked sometimes I make myself look so I looked and um, I made eye contact with her and I was for a few minutes broken because I was in the comfort of the car with music playing warm cosy I mean even I don't like motorways they make me feel very kind of claustrophobic but I'm sat in the comfort of a car with somebody I love on the way to safety and comfort and home playing music she was stood probably on metal facing a cold metal wall with a slit just big enough to be able to see through seeing all these other things whizzing by and whizzing past and this noise and I knew where she was on her way, on her way to and I knew she didn't and I, I just I couldn't help but think about how confused and, and scared and cold and possibly hungry and thirsty and terrified she must have been
then you could, I could see it all in that eye. I could only see one eye. But I could see how wide and frightened it was. So that wasn't a nice end to a, a gorgeous weekend. And if you know me at all, then you know that creative writing is a huge part of me. Sometimes I'll just experience something or feel something and want to share it and I'll do it by posting about it, but trying to do it in a kind of creative way. Anyway, knee-jerk reaction to that that happened on the motorway was this. In quotations, I absolutely do not care about the pain and suffering of any animal. You may never speak those words, or even think them, and yet, every time you pour dairy milk onto your cereal or into your hot drink, every time you have pieces of animal corpse or secretions on your plate, you emulate them. Those words ooze from your every pore. So the image I've just shown you of the post on our Facebook page, I also shared as an image on Instagram. And it was, the response to it was very interesting because I don't think people necessarily are aware of their own ego sometimes or how far they will go to protect their own ego. So they attack you for, because nothing in that post says you're evil. Nothing in that post says you do this on purpose. In fact, it clearly says you may never speak these words. You may not even ever think them, but your actions emulate them. It's as if you don't care. What other way is there of looking at it when you're aware that the dairy industry is brutal and cruel and nobody, nobody can claim not to be aware. You can choose to live in your own bubble, but own that. Say, I live in my own bubble, I, I, do, I know that the information is freely available. I know it's all out there, but I just don't want to know it, you know. However, if you've got any kind of switch on at all up here, then you know that cows, female cows, the female reproductive system has to be abused for dairy. Cows have to forcefully be impregnated. Their babies have to be taken away so that we can take the milk. The male cows largely killed made into veal. The female cows uh, raised on um, a, a cheap alternative to their mother's milk that they should be having until they're old enough to be impregnated carry for nine months, baby taken away, so we can take the milk. I made eye contact with her on the motorway. How many times had she gone through that before she was in this truck on the way to probably getting her throat slit to be put on people's plates? But hey, get offended. Get offended, be offended. It just infuriates me. It infuriates me. All these veggie people and veggie pages. It, like, how many times do, do we ever write anything like this, post anything like this? It's always gentle. Oh, you're on the journey. We'll help you out. And we will. We will support you and help you on the journey. But fuck's sake, get there. Get to the point where you're not buying into or supporting animal abuse anymore 
because I can't handle seeing her in that truck after no doubt a shit life on her way to become someone's dinner who doesn't give a shit, who hasn't even thought about it, who doesn't care about the pain and suffering and abuse that she's gone through, who doesn't care about the environmental impact that her life has had on on the planet we live on just wants a nice piece of juicy steak and then when you point it out people get upset so you know maybe internalize some of that we're all so quick aren't we these days to ex everything's external oh I'm angry I'm this I'm that I'm uh, this that's crap me town shit MPs don't work the party I voted for is crap look inside for a minute see what you can do to make this a better world going vegan is a massive step massive helps you animals the environment the planet your kids future but yeah i'm the villain because i said because i said some words i'm i'm a villain Fuck off seriously it's like carry your own guilt not try and push it on to uh, other people you buy into this industry you pay for support and actively encourage the abuse of sentient beings with feelings just like your cat or your dog it happens because you pay for it to happen there is no other way to get dairy from a cow other than abuse. It's the only way. It's birth milk. Make her pregnant. Take the baby away. So for her. For her that I made eye contact with. That. That poor, poor, poor creature. On her way. To death. For her this a little bit more of an uh, aggressive <laughs> kitchen vlog than uh, the normal but man people are starting to piss me off keyboard warriors so many of them and um, before I uh, before I kind of you do, oh, this is something else we got ripped for. Uh, you know, um, Brianna Guy, the um, beautiful 16 year old uh, trans girl who was stabbed to death in a park by two 15 year olds who've now been charged with her murder and may also be charged with uh, it's uh, still being investigated as a, as a hate crime this is what this is what the right wing is doing to the world and I'm sorry to make it about politics but it is about politics because we on the left I, I, I don't even like using in fact, I'm not going to use those. Uh, I'm not going to boil it down to um, sides anymore. There are people who give a shit and there are people who don't. I'm happy to be one of the people who gives a shit. I didn't spend 10 years of my life with my husband and Stuart and so many other people working on this beautiful thing that we'd created, Pink Triangle Theatre taking this show around schools and colleges and workplaces and prisons with lots of different casts and uh, with you know the message that always always homophobia and transphobia are wrong 
all too often they lead to death and they have to stop and it's the people who don't give a shit and it's largely the media that are demonising trans people constantly. So for her, for Brianna, I say, bon voyage girl. And I'm so sorry that you are no longer here to shine your light and fight the good fight but you won't be forgotten so I guess this vlog is about two females One that society won't see as worthy of even recognition as a living being. And one who was killed by her own kind. Possibly because of who she was. I'd want to say it like that. Can we try and do better? Can we just can we just all try and do better with each other? I don't hate you. Even if you hate me. I still don't hate you because as a fellow human being you have the same potential and capacity as I do of course you do you've got to flick the switches open the doors internalise some of that anger and curiosity And please, please go vegan. You can live so happily and deliciously and just not buy into the, the fact that billions of animals on this planet are abused and slaughtered every year with no good reason. We don't need to keep forcefully breeding them and don't forget that's why there's so many of them because we keep forcefully breeding them <sighs> anyway yeah funny couple of days emotionally glad to get it out yes I'm fine can we please stop with the when somebody posts something I know that people mean well when they say is everything okay yeah if, the, if it wasn't I'd tell you um, you never ask, have to ask me is everything okay nobody ever have, has to ask me is everything okay I live with my husband don't forget that we have each other always to talk things through do we have uh, difficult moments of course we do we all do and we share them with each other but um, you know let me say this though even when I'm not okay I'm okay important to know these things so I will continue to write things that bother people no doubt um, because it's important to call it out now and again and to stop accepting this why would you be so judgmental that puts people off 
veganism it's like no when people are thinking about veganism nothing will put them off really when they're really really truly thinking about veganism people will use excuses and it's good to avoid them as much as you can don't let people use those excuses you know by bombarding them with too much information or telling them to make their own when they've actually to buy where they can get it in the soup that kind of thing but harsh truths they, they are what um, hopefully wakes people up right I'll get off I've been yattering for ages and I'm so sorry and I bet the background has been uh, crystal clear and I've been faded all that time don't care I'll still upload it right um, I'm done I'm done griping um, yeah let's do better man we can all do better let's do better uh, thanks for watching see you again soon until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other bye loves